G'day mate, welcome to Friday Facts 350 Electric Mining Drill Redesign and I have an electric mining mojo with me. Hey, mate. Hello. So, um, surprise, surprise, we get an electric mining drill. Um, Who'd have thought it? Not a beacon. <sighs> not a beacon, not a beacon. Um, probably in most mega bases. Funnily enough, like mining drills you don't see that many of because you set up outposts, outposts and you generally ignore them. Yeah, you generally don't look at them until they're out of things. Yeah, that, out, of, out of all. That, that, that's true. But then again, like, you know, it is early game. It's one thing that you end up in the middle of your base and you generally build around. So I guess it's it, it's great that they spent some time and effort on it. Um, we do get to the final picture down below and you'll probably notice there's no background music for this one because we do have a slice of what it sounds like. Um, but yeah, it's... I don't know. Admittedly, we, we, this is actually one we overlook because this graphic is also incredibly old. This is one of the original graphic. It is. It is super, super old. And we did get in the previous update where we got all the new graphics. We did get a new graphic, which sort of, sort of led on to the fact that we're getting a new minor drill. And both you and I completely missed it because yeah, we all missed it. Um, yeah, we just we just sort of accepted the mining drills with the mining drills, and everybody moved on. Anyway. Um, as it says, one of the, the electric mining drills is one of the older designs still in the game. We've had our eye on it for a long time as a candidate for redesign. The old design, the most problematic aspect we see is the weak radial uh, animation that's more like gently harvesting a field rather than aggressively mining and destroying the planet. Which yeah, that part it's, I do it's, agree it's the with. Well, it's catch 22. Like, I just took it as like, you know, we're show, slowly shaving, in this case, the coal like off the top of the surface. Which sort of made sense. Um, kind of, sort of, yeah, given it was laying on the surface. Yeah, it's it sort of made sense. So, yeah, uh, the original mining drill was also a very flat, like, top-down square. In general, I try to avoid these because it just doesn't work with every other part of the game. So, we have our, our high resolution of our mining drills, which, again, have not been updated since forever. And we we're, were hoping that when they added the pipes in for uranium... That it'd get a redesign and it didn't um it just didn't fit in because they were doing all the other nuclear components but you can see just looking at the mining drill with uranium that the piped half looks way higher quality wise than the original mining <laughs> yeah, drill underneath the original one yeah um so the new design they try they, they tried lots of options when it came to actual drill itself they tried a tricone a four metal drills a cone shaped drill bit and none of them really worked most problematic was uh visibly uh most most of the problem was visible visibly or uh, either visibly of the actual mining drill itself or there were too many details which became even worse when drilling because having such a small pixel area is usually what limits them on what they can create. They also need to be rec recognizable from very far away, which is one of the things with Factoria. It's not it's not really a high resolution game. No, it isn't. And most of the details lost because you're at a medium, zo not zoomed right in, so you can't see the fine detail. Well, I think from memory, Factoria is designed around a zoom level of two, which which you know sticks in my head for some reason so a zoom level of two is like you are zoomed a certain amount out to start with and you can zoom further in and i see a lot of new players when they first start off you start zoomed right the way in i know when you start a brand new game and you're in burner city you generally start zoomed right the way in because you're not traveling vast distances but then as you progress through the game, your zoom level becomes further and further, further out by out, default. Because you want to see more more base. Yeah, yeah. And and that and the bases gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And then when you end up really late game, where again, when mining drills don't matter, you're normally at like almost max zoom all time. So yeah. Um so through various options, um, they tried to try they they tried a similar solution to the burner mining drill, as that's already established in the factorial language. It makes it clear that the miners are one family of entities, and I gotta say, it works mostly. Um, I found the mining drill. You can sort of see it when it's animated a little bit more that that the drill is actually spinning and doing something, but as a static image, it's it's not really easy to see. Just saying. Yeah. Um, but we do get a lovely new graphic, and it is way better than what we had before. Like, like it's massive difference. Certainly a step up. Yeah. Um, Which is nice. 
So the old animation had one big benefit. It could work non-stop and move around the collision box. So it looks like it's harvesting from various tiles. With the new construction of the drill, it, ha it had to lift to move around. However, the drill could be outputting resources even when the drill bit is lifted. So we had to add a working LED and a tintable layer for resources being dropped off to the output to make it clear that when the drill, drill is in a working state. So again, I like it, but it, it sort of begs the question, when are we going to get tiny little LEDs like this for, like, assemblers? Because there's plenty of yeah, mods out there that do that. That's four-fifths of the way to being um, the um, bottleneck mod. Yeah, it, it, it is. And, like, the bottleneck, mo bottleneck mod has been around forever. It's been highly requested in Vanilla Factorio. And then I did... Actually, I think you tried the mod as well. I think it was called Lightorio which <laughs> yeah 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 we're not going to get into the ups problems of that particular mod but it, it sort of did the same with similar thing where a little similar, light yeah yeah a little light uh the, the machine itself actually had a little glow of light like a small lamp was placed into it that you know indicated that the machine was working and i actually highlighted the mod quite some time ago maybe if i remember i'll put a link up the top right hand corner it's, it, it was a great mod. Yeah, I think Mojo had a little bit more experience with it and found it was slightly UPS yeah, heavy. It, it was great until by the start of eating thing. Oh, that's right. It didn't remove the lights correctly. Yeah, or yeah. Um, removing a lot of lights at once. Suddenly the game would stutter and, and gen generally perform quite badly. Check the patch notes before you grab the mod. Maybe it's been fixed. Anyway, um, yeah, we do have lights on the minor drills now. And yes, we have green for going, orange or yellow for uh, output blocked. We have red for definitely off for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, out of ore underneath it. Oh, of course. I wouldn't have thought about that. And then, of course, <laughs> we have the power outage icon. Um, yeah, and so it's completely blank in that case. Yeah, and the LED doesn't even show up, which I don't know. Well, actually, it does show up. Okay, I see it there. Um, yeah, I look, my only preference would be if that LED was moved down like one LED length so there was a bit more yellow at the end so you could distinguish. Yep. Um, but overall, look, it's 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 a great, it's a great update, I'd say. Um, the mining drills, yeah, well and truly passed overdue. Um, yes. It so, actually should qualify something like this is the original graphic, but there was one before it, but it technically doesn't count because it was like it was like a flat two D icon with a like a wheel spinning inside. Yeah, I think it was a, it, like a, a really really early placeholder graphic that they yeah, picked it, it up was, from somewhere. It was like a rocket defense placeholder type situation, yeah. Yeah. and I think that was replaced in version four with this one. I think. Uh, I, I don't even think the wiki goes back that far. Um, no, maybe, that's, that gives you an idea of how old the mining drill is. Yeah, maybe Mojo can bring up the wiki and see if it has any marks in there. But yeah, um, since the mov movement of the mining drill is procedural and Amistus was smart about optimizing the sprite sheet space, we can save a lot of VRAM compared to the original mining drill, about, if, about 40 megabytes, which does sound like a lot. But then again, considering how much video RAM most graphics cards have, it's it's like a drop in the bucket. Um, version five. Version five. There you go. Um, do we and have an HD or remastered in fifteen? And now you don't 18. happen to have a picture of really early version five pre five graphics? Uh, not on hand. Okay. Um, but yeah, they were considering more animations, but it would multiply the VRAM requirements too much, which is something that Woob does take into account. They're really trying to minimize everything. This is one of the reasons Factorio runs on a potato. On the flip side, I would really like a like like an option to say, you know, in the options menu, I don't have a potato to get some of these better graphics that they play with. Um because, yeah, we will see the mine, but it, the, the, the drill in action, and I was hoping for a bit more oomph. Um, but, yeah, they also have the resource layer, the pipe contents, and the smoke emitted by the drill are all tintable layers spe as specified by resources, which makes it very dynamic and mod-friendly. So, again, they're thinking about the modders, and we can see that the, the cloud that the mining drill puts out... Um, along with the ore in the, I don't know, what would you call them? Um, like the grinders at the front. Um, they're both tintable by 
by the ore, which means if you start having bobs with like brown ore and green ore and yellow ore and orange ore, um, it can have yellow smoke and orange smoke and little puffs of whatever. and All yeah. kinds of smoke, eh? Yeah, um, along with the liquid in the pipes. Yeah, you could... Well, actually, I do know there's a mod out there that requires you to use water for every single mining drill to mine anything. Um, so, yeah, plenty, plenty of options. Um thanks woob uh yeah <laughs> modders are gonna be happy and i'm just thinking god this is gonna bring so many nightmares for for a future playthroughs when when modders get involved and we have all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff so um there's a picture there of the old mining drill graphic oh he's got a picture oh gosh um, <laughs> that's the old one and this is what version of factor is this 0.1 Oh boy, this is uh, actually this is pre it going out to. Um, yeah, this is the backer one. No, it's pre backer, isn't it? This is no, this is the original backer one. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. Because I think the backer one didn't go out to version five, and this is why really, really early versions are hard to get your hands on. Um, Woob has master copies still, I believe. Um, but yeah, early, early versions, I think prior to five didn't go out to anybody. It was, um, who they, they, they back through Indiegogo. So I think Indiegogo backers got version five and up. Um, so yeah, super, super early mining drills, which yeah, just look like big spoons that went around in circles. Um, and yes. it's output ore, which funnily enough is not on any of the belts. So, oh no, there's definitely some ore there. Oh God, that's impossible to see. Yep. Okay. <laughs> We're ignoring old Factorio. Um, How Will, kind of Will was able to play this crap? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, so the remnants ignore rotations, but have four variations, which is always good to see. Um, typically mining fields only have two rotations anyway, being like north, south, or east, west. Very, very seldomly do people shove things, miners in, in all four orientations, unless you have mixed ore, which funnily enough they have on screen with copper and coal, at which point you do get miners shoved in in odd angles to get every last drop. Um, but yeah, remnants, I don't think remnants like caring about what orientation things are in really, really matters as long as it's it, not a huge deal. No, as long as it looks destroyed and it looks destroyed really, really well. And I do like the fact just, just the bottom left one, I think is the most, the most impressive to me because it has that mining drill, like yeah. flipped upside down, looking up at you. The, yeah. um, top right one has that as well. It's pointing towards the top, right? Yeah. Okay. So the bottom right one is the most disappointing. Let's just leave it at that. Um, the other three, <laughs> the other three are all well, well, well and good. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. They all look like sad mining drills. Sad dead mining drills. It just means that you didn't ask the biters, you, know, you didn't ask the biters nicely enough to, to stay away from your mining drills. You should give them more friendship pellets because they like friendship pellets. Um, the sound of the mining drill also been updated. F Unfortunately, Factoria does not support multiple working sounds per entity which I've actually realized just recently with launching many, many, many rocket silos since doing all the updates that um, many rocket silos are many, many loud. Um, and I think we're going to have the same thing with mining drills. If you stand in the middle of an outpost... Um, they already are pretty damn loud. They are loud, but as you have like two mining drills, it's not twice as loud, but it's like, like 1.0 you know, five times as loud. And then by the time you get up to 20 or 30, it's going to be fairly loud in the middle of an outpost. So I really hope that they've, um, again, like we, we, we're both streamers. We're going to deal with this sort of stuff. Um, is it compression to limit the maximum amount of volume? Um, indirectly. Yeah, I thought so. Um, and I, I, I know for rocket solos, that doesn't really exist because it gets unbearably loud um yeah especially when you have like eight or sixteen go off all at once yes yes um ever since the sound updates have come out that yeah one rocket style even with the new new sounds that they've just added new new sounds are, 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 are better and more tolerable tolerable but um yeah after you get lots and lots of silos going off at the same time it gets it gets loud enough that i have grabbed a headphone and pulled it across away from my ear just a little bit um because that's the quickest way to make it quieter anyway um the sound mining drills have been updated yet unfortunately factorio does not support multiple working sounds per entity which is probably a good thing because stand in the middle of 20 mining drills 
with a similar sound going back and forth all the time. Oh, they'd all have different sounds playing and so at the just same have time, this horrible mess of sync, different noise. Yeah, um, could be really bad. So Ian had to invent a sound that would work non-stop um, since there's almost more... <sighs> Since there's almost more than one mining drill running in any outpost at a time. And is this the video? Yep. Yeah, I look I I can't complain about the sound. It 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 definitely sounds like a mining mining drill. Um, my only comment is I was really, really hoping when I read this that the mining drills would, like, they go forward and backward on the drilling platform, but I was really hoping that the, the top assembly would do something interesting, so they go left and right as well, um, but unfortunately that's not been featured in, so, yeah, um, I don't know, may, maybe a wish for version 1.1, um, but I do like the fact that they've got the the chute kicking out the ore and dumping it into the giant grinder at the front before it comes out as ore ore out the front of the machine. Um, it's just those little details that I... I don't know. I appreciate them when they're in the Friday Facts. I appreciate them the first time I see them in game and then I promptly tend to forget about them. Um, yeah. Any thoughts, Mojo? Uh, we covered, covered everything. I, everything. Yeah, you know, probably mm. the only thing for me is that you got the, the drill moving up and down, but the sound's constant. So potentially, it's opened itself up to the sound, like the animation lends itself to the sound being d d different to what it is. But the drill doesn't stop spinning. It does stop spinning when it's yeah, it does up. stop spinning. If the drill yeah. kept spinning, then it would make sense. Yeah. Because the, the drill stops spinning and the sound stays the same, that's where the irregularity is. Yeah, I, I think their grounds of having multiple multiple drills running at once maybe fixes that problem. But yeah, you're right. When that first mining drill goes down, um, when you're getting out of Burner City and you're getting your first electric mining drill, it might sound a little bit odd. But, you know. Um, so yeah, they finished the mining drill. Line, uh, the, we were finishing the mining drill in the last few weeks, but we couldn't release it with the new icons. We didn't feel like creating a new icon for the old design, and we found it a little bit cute to hint the redesign is coming. Hopefully, the confusion why the new icon looks completely different to the NC will be cleared up next week when we, we release the redesign presented in this post. So it's coming. It's coming real soon. Um, hopefully, it's in next week's update. Hopefully. Hopefully they have a next week update and it doesn't get pushed back. But yeah, um, I don't know. What, what's the other big one? We, we covered beacons. Beacons still aren't done yet. And hopefully we don't have the weird, I don't know, Tesla Tower thing that we were looking at um, in a previous Friday Fax. Um, the fact that um, we're all a bit unsure about it means they're probably redoing, coming up with some new ideas. Probably going through redesign. I, I, I do hope... Um, and, and they have done this a few times in the past. They've come back to the community in like a Friday fax and said, look, this is the options we're looking at. What do people think? Um, because, you know, hive mind mentality, sometimes you end up with really, really good suggestions. I know when it came to the fluid improvements, which were uh, didn't make it into 1.1, they did mention in a later Friday fax that two people had really good ideas, how to implement it, blah, 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 on the forums. They used both those examples to go forward for the new fluid implementation which didn't make it into 1.1 um but you know well it didn't make it into 1.0 but then again 1.0 has been moved forward which is like really soon now yeah it's getting close it's getting close so yeah there's this one there's beacons is that it uh i think so but I think what, what I, I got to remember what's come up last week. I know accumulators in the crafting menu look a little bit weird because it has the lightning across the top of it, which is not your default state for an accumulator. Um, only when they're discharging, I think, or charging. No, discharging. They have the lightning across. Yeah, the top they actually of have different animations for discharging and charging. Yeah. Um, so I think that was a weird one that came up for redesign, but I think that's about it. Like the 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 engines was redone. The engines were redone, yes, because lots of people commented, "What the hell is that?" Um, uh, the 
red circuits were tweaked because apparently people can't distinguish the difference between red and orange. Uh, I haven't noticed that one because I haven't been looking, but I do know sulfur got a retweak as well. Yeah, it was very... Uh, there was a colour in there called acid and it did look a lot like that and it's now been pulled back to more of a... Yeah, it was made way more yellow and I noticed the black highlights were more black as well. So there have been minor tweaks and minor things that they have done. Um... And yeah, we're getting closer to and close to one point, you know, one point oh. And as said, like we didn't expect a mining drill. Um, I think it's one of those things where just everybody's accepted the old mining drill was there to stay, and you know that was part yeah, of Factorio it's history. Been, it's been it's been part of part of us for as long as we've been playing Factorio, more or less. Yep. So I think with that, well, that's it. Friday facts uh, three fifty is out and done. Uh, we'll see you guys next week for the FFF three fifty one. Um, and I should look up probably by next week which number of Friday Facts exactly is 1.0 because I haven't done that yet. But anyway, that's it. We're out. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next week. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.